All right, let's uh, let's start building our app. Um, everybody's worried about uh, how are we going to build this app? How are we going to build this app? Well, let's do it together. Let's you know get uh, those common elements together, the things that don't separate us between each other, right? So I always tell you, you know, you have to have a folder structure. Um, for your site. So every site, you know, we're going to probably have some images. You can name images like this. I actually don't like doing that. For me personally, uh, you might be different. I like to use IMG just like the HTML tag because if I'm going to use it in URLs, I want to keep it short. makes for less screw-ups. So I have uh, an image. Uh, then I have uh, CSS, right? And if I'm going to have JavaScript, I have a JavaScript like that. <coughs> Pardon me. I'll try not to cough into my uh, speaker. Uh, I'll show you another way of doing this. For those inclined, don't ask me again. Uh, don't ask me again. Don't need to delete them all. <coughs> so there you go. This is our folder. If you're not sure where you are, you can check it like that. Uh, so I'm in where I want to be. So I'll make dir. Uh, what did I say? JavaScript, uh, make dir, and CSS. Okay, so let's see. Probably uh, gonna need some some files. Uh, probably say uh, homepage. That'll always be index.html. Uh, let's see, then we want probably an about page, and then we probably want a contact pass page. Uh, yeah, let's see what we got there. Then we got those, and then we see them up here. See, boom, boom, boom. I just, same way here. So let's see, beers.html, right? And it opens it for you right there. <coughs> Let's see, Echo. Um, let's see, hold on one second. Let me just let me just do this. I need some basic scaffolding. This is what I need. Okay, save. Okay, so echo. All that code. And then uh, about HTML. Okay. And then contact.html and then beers.html. Okay. There we go. Boom, boom. Cool, eh? <coughs> so, anybody curious? Uh, that's not. So, make directory. Touch. Names of the files, every space causes it to break, so it's handy that way. And then whenever you say, um, wow, it's not showing it here very well. Okay, let me just clear. So if you want to copy ever anything into something from the command line, you just say whatever it is, and then into what file you want it to be. So if this was about... <laughs> .html like that, now it'll overwrite it. See? All gone. <coughs> Don't want to do that though, so clear that up. <coughs> Sorry, I had a coughing attack there. Right on. Okay, so now we got all that stuff done. Uh, let's see, we need a CSS. Uh, actually, no, touch. CSS uh, styles dot CSS. Uh, okay, and we should have it. So code uh, code CSS styles. There, and it open the file right here. So let's see. Okay, so we have our structure. We don't have any images or anything like that yet. Uh, I, I really have nothing to say about the images. Um, we have a JS folder because we know we'll need JS, and now we have all of these files. So, and they're all, you know, set up with the same basic stuff. They're ready to, you know, add a style sheet and 
and customize obviously the title to its purpose. So home page, right? Um, and that's all done. But uh, we also need some some basic styles, right? Before um, anything can ever be um, started, you need what's called resets. And resets are um, uh, like this. So you go to the HTML on the body and say margin zero, and you go padding zero, because the browser sets all these on their own and they're different from browser to browser. So what you want to do is you want to say, hey, I want them to be zero because that's something I can rely on. And then afterwards, when I change them, they'll be changed based on my changes. So, but they all start at zero. <coughs> okay. So don't really need this for now. Let's see what else do we want. We want our font family because everybody's going to have uh, uh, the whole page is going to have the same fonts because I said, remember, to never use more than one or two, two at most. Same with the font size. We want to have a default font size that the browser will use. 16 is very common. 14 is good. 12 is probably small. Um, you tend to want um, 16, 16 or 14. And when you want smaller, you just do it differently. I'll, I'll, I'll get into that a little bit later. Um, so yeah, these are your most common reset, uh, to reset and set up. This will happen, should happen every time. Uh, let's see. So we want to build something that works, um, uh, mobile first. So let me just, uh, let's just, um, oops, nope, that's not what I wanted. Wrong button, wrong button. Do I even have, one second. Okay, so I brought in a browser so that we can see what we're doing here. <coughs> and we'll, we'll start from there. So we got our home page title, right? And then we need our CSS. Uh, that's going to be um, slash CSS styles CSS. There we go. Good. We're rolling. Okay, what are we going to need? We're going to need a nav, right? We're definitely going to need a nav. So let's get a nav. Uh, and inside that nav, we're going to need a UL and an LI. And probably, what do we have? Five pages? Five pages. Let's go with five. Always reduce. So home. Uh, about beers. Let's go with beers. Yeah. About uh, contact. Um, what was the other one? I think we had another one. Okay, we don't. That's fine. Everybody will be different. Um, I'm not even sure. <coughs> Let's say careers. Could do careers. Could even do uh, like a uh, find beers. Find. Find. Find beers. There. Boom. Look at that. We got that. So we got our structure. Uh, we got our LIs. Probably going to need to give this some kind of name class because you know we're going to format it somehow. Uh, class main menu. Okay. And class primary nav. There we go. Just in case. Now we need, uh, let's see, main. Uh, let's see what else we're going to have here. Probably, hmm, let me think for a second. Oh my goodness, I forgot something actually. Header. Yeah. There we go, get that in there. Boom. Okay, so main, uh, I'll probably have a couple sections inside of main. So section, uh, times two, like that. Uh, let's see, it's just called first section for now. Uh, then second section. Could be a lot of things. Let's go with footer here, because we got finally got our nav. Uh, let's see, we probably have a UL. Um, let's see, we probably have 
times three, um, like that. Let's see, um, home, story, contact, let's say. <coughs> and we want that on every page. The footer, let's see, like that. Maybe a couple columns, right? Uh, this one would be like, um, uh, maybe actually, uh, we'll go make it a, a map here. And then this one is like, uh, it's like Facebook. And then this one's like uh, Twitter. And uh, LinkedIn. Or like, oh, let's go create a new open table. Who knows? Right? It could be anything. Let's see, first section, about first section. I just like to have it like that because obviously they're big or I'm anticipating they'll be big like that. That looks good, right? And then... <coughs> so and so. All right, so we got a header. Okay, so now we need to work on this stuff, right? Like Now we need to, uh, let's see, header. What do we want? Ah, uh, you know what we need? There we go. I'll move this back a smidge just so I can see more. What are we going to do? Main. Main menu. Right? Flat. Display. Flex. Boom. Uh, there we go. Okay, now we're doing gonna do flex. Let's see here. We want to go flex. What do we want? Flex. I'm trying to think. Justify content space even. There we go. See how that spaced everything out? Let me just try to move this over a smidge more. See, it actually moved it to the edge of the map. Actually, let me move the page. See? So, there we go. That's great. That's great stuff. That's what we want, right? So, let's see what else we got. The header. The header is going to be the whole thing, right? So, we're going to go up here and we're going to go header. So to get typically I'm going to have one. Let's see, it's height, probably a height like 100 pixels. Uh, that might be a bit big. 100 pixels. Let's, yeah, there we go. And, you know, I'm going to give it a border just for now because I want to know what I'm, what I'm looking at. Let's go blue. Yeah. Okay, that looks right. Looks good. I'm happy with that. So we'll probably give it some kind of background. I'm, I'm not going to get into the styling of it right now. Um, and when I do my work, I'm not going to put the time into it for you guys. I just, you know, CSS is time consuming and, uh, you know, it's a labor of love. And this is your project and you need to decide what you're going to do. But, uh, but there we go. We're golden so far. Ah, what can we do next? Do we want all this stuff to be centered? Like this, we want it into three columns. So let's look at that for a second. Let's go to footer. We want the footer to be a flex box, flex container. <coughs> like that, right? Because that way they cruise across like that. And then, uh, ooh, you know what we did? Oh, we made a boo boo. We duplicated. Look at this. Right there. And right there. Let's do this. There we go. Isn't that better? Boom. They're doing the same thing. This is what we want, right? Boom, boom. Let's uh, let's extend it out this way. See? Perfect. That's what we want. That's great. That's what I want there. Uh, okay. This won't work on the footer. 
I don't like to add things that won't work. So dot main menu, we'll just put it there, okay? And then we're also going to put the footer ul. Boom. Look at that. All of our dots are gone. See how clean that is? Half the style. Let's get rid of that though. We don't want confusion later on. Okay. So Kind of exaggerating a bit right now the necessity of this but I want you to see it there you go okay so what I want to do though is I also want to add I want to make this like this too I don't see any reason why I wouldn't want to have that oh shoot yeah that makes a good point actually so let's pull that out um, let's go down Footer and let's lift this out. There we go. Header, footer, and put that in there. There we go. And then let's go height, 100 pixels. There you go. That's good. And now we got this main section. What do we want to do with that? Let's see here. So we got those items. Now we gotta do main. It's always good to do stuff in order. Not necessarily like order, but like you have it like a logical order. So like this is major page components. Or basic components. Or foundational components. This is not necessarily a comment you need. I'm just I'm just saying that this would be the logic for all of this right here together. And then it would obviously branch down from there. This is now that. And then, then you have subcomponentry that's going on there. So let's see, what do we want to do? Maybe I'm going to center it. You know what I'm thinking now? What if I have uh, three sections and do it kind of like the footer? What if I want to do it like just simple across like that? So height 100%. Um, yeah, I don't want that. Because that's going to do this. See? It's going to push it all the way down. What about. Let me think about this for a minute. <coughs> Let me get back to it, basically, is what I'm saying. Let's go display. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I want this to be the same. Let's go here. So, footer, main, footer, like that. There we go. Boom. Cool, eh? Boom, boom, boom. All right. Okay. I like this. This is good. How's this going to be? This is going to be like this, right? Okay, yeah, we're good. Everything is pleasant and wonderful. Uh, by the way, if you didn't realize, I'm running that live share right now. Okay, so let's, I don't need this. Um, <coughs> okay, now we need to, you know, get these things to kind of spread out a little bit, use up their space. So let's go main, height, 100%. Now, it's using up 100%. 
the thing is, is there's no real, uh, there's nothing pushing this anywhere. So what we want to do is we want to tell the body, HTML the body, to take up 100% um, of that. Okay. Just like that. It's not quite right. Yeah, so that's what I got wrong. I just uh, I just need to do that and watch what happens. There. So I just need to keep following through on what I was already doing. By the way, I usually like for things like this, it's the same as these, except that I put them below the resets. Okay? If I'm resetting, I want them like that. It's just, again, it's a logical thing. To me, this feels logical. Um, yeah, so anyway, so here we go. Uh, so now we got the basic thing set up. So now we want our main. Uh, I'm going to probably use, you can tell I'm a big Flexbox guy, historically, but um, I can do this in Grid too. Um, let's see here. I want to get those sections. I, what do I want? I want them to be like columns or something. I don't know. What should I do? Let's see, flex, and then um, um, align items. Do I want align items? Sure, let's go with align items. No, that's not what I wanted. Uh, what am I thinking of? Justify. It's going to center it the wrong way. Yeah, I don't want. I don't want it to center it that way. I want to align. Item center. There we go. <coughs> this center that I'm highlighting that I've commented out is this kind of center. We don't need that kind of center because we're already doing the other kind, a different kind. Oh, I just want to get this. How are we doing there? Okay. So let's uh, let's do this. So I got the number wrong. Okay, so let's go uh, uh, main inside section. No, uh, main. Okay, actually, let's just do this. Um, what I want to do is border one pixel. You see how I like to do this a lot? Solid. You can go dotted, like I showed, uh, and then go, I don't know, green. Green is okay on now. There you go. So this shows you how much space they're taking up. This is literally all float. Not the CSS float, but float isn't. There's nothing here. It's just being pushed here because that's the center. Okay. So look. They don't take up more space than that. If you want to see stuff take up space, watch this. You go. Um, heights. 100%. Oops. See? Then you'd have to go align self center. No. Oh, no, that's right. Yeah, because I only made the five. Okay, so each one of the, that's right. I went across the line. Oops. Now I have to make each one of these. <coughs> um, ooh, I wonder if the old school vertical align would work. I don't think so. Will it work? Maybe it's just not refreshed. No, yeah, I didn't think so. Okay, so display flex because this is inside. That's I'm I'm acting on these. Okay, and I go just uh, let's see that should be. I often get confused which one, and then I do them, and then, yeah. Because it just takes me two seconds. I've never actually had to go down the center. Line. And then every once in a while, I regret not having invested more time into... There it is. There we go. Cool, eh? 
so now they're centered and they do take up all that space <coughs> so oh crazy eh? the reason is is because this is set up to space evenly and this is a block so it's trying to push up to the minimum auto on that section I'll leave this with you actually now because I think this is a good place, a good step off place for you guys to build off of. And then next week, um, we'll talk about where you're at and we'll, maybe we'll build off some more. Okay? Um, by the way, if you want to look and see, let's see here. This is really handy right here. Let's see, you can this over there like that. See? So then you can go like this, like that. Imagine going like this. You see that? I bet you nobody's tried this. did something. Hmm. Hmm. Anyway, whoever could figure that out, whatever I did there, that's interesting. There's actually been some interesting changes to uh, Chrome recently that have goofed me up in other ways. This, this is probably just a clerical error, but I'll leave it. So, good luck on getting your project started, and look forward for another video, okay?